I'm going to show you how to do a basic book fold. This one is just a simple heart. And on this pattern, it tells you the number of pages you're going to need for your book and the height of your book that you need. So this one's 135 pages and 21 centimeters. This pattern is a measure, mark and fold, so you're going to measure, um, use the measurements. There's two measurements on here. You're going to mark it in your book and then you're going to fold your page. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, what you're going to need are the pattern, your book, you're going to need a ruler. I use a T ruler that has um, centimeter markings on there. You need a good pencil sharp pencil. Um, if you want, you can use a calculator to figure out your pages. I'm going to show you that. So first get your book. You need 135 pages or more. My book has, here's what you need to do is look. This has 208, but you need to look and see how many pages are actually foldable. This one we know has more than our pattern, but for example, you're not going to be able to fold this last page because it's kind of stuck in there. So really, you can fold up to page 206. And in the beginning of the book, you can, pay, you can fold right from the first page here, which is actually not page one. So, um, when you go and look through, my book starts on page 10, so they are counting probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no, what are they even counting? This one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so they're starting right from the first page here. We're going to take our last page of the book, 208. And you need 135 pages. So you can take your calculator if you want. Um, you're going to find the page to start on. And how you do this is you take your total number of pages to fold, 208 and you're going to subtract it from the pages you need, 135. That's going to give you 73. And then you're going to divide it by 2. And that means we're going to start on page, it says 36.5, and you're going to start on the odd page, so 37. And since this started from the first page at 1, you can just go directly to page 37 to start folding. Okay? So let's put a sticky note in that page so we know where that is. Now what you can do as a beginner is... This has your page numbers to begin on, and since you're not starting on page one, you're gonna start on page 37, you may want to write your page numbers down. I don't because I'm used to doing this, but if you want to, you can. Just remember your page numbers you're folding are not going 37, 38, 39, 40. It's gonna be 37, 39. So just write your numbers down in that order, and you can do, um, one, three, five, seven, nine, all the way through. So seven, I'll show you what I mean. Nine, one, three, five, seven, nine. Can you see that? So this is going to be 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49. And let's start again. One, three, five, seven, nine. So that's 51, 53, 55, 57, 59. You can go all the way through your pattern here. And it's a page and a half. It's not a lot of pages. Not even a half. 
Um, these are your measurements you're going to be using. First measurement, second measurement. So let's open to page 37. And I hold the book as if you were write, reading it. It's just easy for me to hold the back pages down with my left arm because I'm right-handed. And I place the ruler. You want to keep it very close to the edge of your page. See if you can, let me check and see if you can see this well. Yeah, let's go over there. Okay, we'll leave this right there. Okay, so first page, you're gonna do measurement 8.8. .8, and let me show you quickly on the ruler how to find that measurement. In case you can't do the centimeters. So you have your eight. This long one is five, so you can go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is 8.8 .8. there. Can you see that? It goes to nine, and then the next one is nine. Point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then your next number. So that's how the centimeters work. Let's go back here and I drop my page. So we're going to keep it close to the edge of the page here. You're going to take your first measurement is 8.8. .8. So we're going to do eight, five, six, seven, eight, and you're going to put a tiny little mark and your next measurement is 9.1 and another tiny mark. Okay, move your ruler to the side. Now you're going to take the top of your page and you're going to fold it at a 90 degree angle at this mark, the first mark you have. I use the words on the page to help me keep, them, keep your folds straight at 90 degrees. And you do want to be very precise. Don't mind my rooster. You want to be precise when you do this. Otherwise, your pattern, whatever you're folding, is not going to look right. It'll look choppy. So make sure you fold right on that line. Okay, so that's our fold. 90 degrees here, 90 degrees there. Now I mark my page off that I did it. Turn the page. We'll go to the next one. 7.9 is the first one. And the next one is 10. We're going to fold down on 7.9. Make sure it's 90 degrees. Doesn't have to be perfect 90 degrees, but you want it as close as you can get it. And 90 degrees on this one. Mark your page that you did it. Flip the page, go to the next one. As you go, you can, if you wrote these page numbers down, you can make sure you're still on the correct page. So I'm on page 41, and I'm gonna be folding page 41 here. So it says 7.5, 7.9, 7.8, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9
Okay, so I'm on my last two pages here, and what I wanted to let you know about is when you get towards the end of your book, it's uh, if you're using a T-ruler, just be careful that you don't place the edge on top of your um, back of your book here because it's going to shift your numbers up. So make sure when you place it on that it doesn't get caught up there and it actually sits on the top of the page. Let me just finish these last two. 70, 32. And 8, 4, and 10, 5. No, 9, 5. So before I, when I was about halfway through, I stopped and took a peek at what the pattern was looking like, and I realized I messed one page up, so I did have to go back and fix one in the beginning. Um, so we're done folding. Now you can take a peek at what you have, and you should have a heart. Can you see that? There we go. And that fold, this is um, a quick fold, so it took me about maybe a half hour, a little bit less. Um, it could take uh, beginners a little bit longer. I wanted to show you, see if I can find my bone folder here. Some people use this to fold their pages. Um, a bone folder. You can use this or like a credit card. You can use your nail. I just use my fingers. Um, but this does give you crisp lines if you want to use that. Um, people ask where I get my books from. You can get them from thrift stores. I got this one from Goodwill. Um, you can get them from the library. Some libraries have sales. Some people ask me for specific books to fold. Um, it just depends on what your gift is for. Like this is a horse book, so you might want to give this to somebody who likes horses. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's book folding. Um, if you want to download my pattern, I will link it in the description. Um, I do have a couple of other patterns that I've made on my Etsy page, so I'll link that. If you have any questions, comment below. And thanks for watching.